so we are moving now to the next topic retry scope and this is one of the tricky subject to answer why i am saying tricky let's get on to the some of the examples you will realize yourself so let's get started first of all before i go through couple of examples that i have prepared let's understand what this retry scope does as per the documentation definition so documentation says the documentation of uipath says if you are using a retry scope retries the contained activities as long as the condition is not met so once the condition is met it will move to the next activity so it will retry until the condition is not met okay or an error is thrown if there is any error thrown also it will move right it will if you are containing it in a try catch activity it will go to the catch section okay if you enable continue on error it will go to the next activity so this much we have understood okay this is what here the docu documentation is not important what is important you doing practical is important so let's go through some of the scenarios the first scenario pay close attention to this okay let's see who can answer this and pause the video and answer it okay let's see it it's okay to be wrong okay look at this so what i have done retry scope inside this there is a action block this actions will be repeated until the condition is met but here i have not kept any condition what i have done i have not kept any condition and i am saying counter is equal to counter plus 1 and i am trying to log it and the counter value uh, is zero starting with zero so when it starts it will become one okay now what would be the answer is it it will be one it will be two or it will be three or it will be four type your answer please type your answer it's okay it's okay to be uh, be wrong it's okay let's learn okay only when you wrong you will remember it for a long time you went wrong okay so it's good to be wrong it's okay so, so i hope you have already typed it okay so let me debug it so let's see what is the answer tan tan so let's see what is the answer because you have not given a condition what will happen okay have patience all right look at it okay so the execution has started what happened counter value it will become 1 it is entered 1 do you see output 1 and then what happened it stopped so when you are not mentioning a condition it will work like a normal sequence it will just go once and leave it because you have not put any condition for it to rerun right so it will simply move getting it without throwing any error nothing simply it has gone so the answer for this is 1 when you don't have a condition so it will i mean your understanding should just do whatever is mentioned only once it will do because you have not put any conditions okay if any activity throws an error then it will it will do its job you know that but for this one the answer is 1 let's answer the second question okay are you prepared all right so let's look at it very carefully and always look at the properties also okay property of the, these activities so here retry scope what is the property everything is blank nothing is mentioned okay fine and even in the previous one there was nothing okay it was all blank okay now look at it same example counter counter plus 1 logging it okay here in the condition i am using a activity called check true where i can write an expression what i am writing counter is less than 5 what i am writing counter is less than 5 okay so what we have read until the condition is not met it is going to retry the action anything you have put inside the action block it is going to execute now pause the video answer me what would be the output what would be written in the output panel is it going to write um, 1 2 3 4 is it going to write 1 it is going to write 1 2 3 is it going to write 5 4 3 2 1 what is that it is going to write it is less than 5 okay or is going to write 1 what is it or 0 type your answer type your answer please let's see let's play the game okay so let's let me execute and see the output so let's see if you are right or wrong okay if you are going wrong it's good you can remember it for a very long time you went wrong so you know why you went wrong if you are doing if you are right it's great so what happened what happened what is the output the output is still one why because here look at look at the condition counter is less than 5 so the first time it run came here it has written one so it will come here and check one is less than 5 condition met so why it should go only when the condition is not met it should go condition met it will move to the next activity so that's why the output here should be 1 okay is it clear okay let's see 
if you can answer the next question okay if you can answer the next question here again the same condition counter is equal to counter plus one here what i have done greater than five and look at the property of the retry scope i have not mentioned anything okay but here i am saying greater than five so in this case what would be the output counter is equal to counter plus one counter and here condition is counter is greater than five no number of retries retry interval nothing i have given okay continue error, nothing i have given so what would happen tell me just think okay write write your answer pause this video write it write your answer and look at the answer and i'm going to explain okay so first it has written one it went there greater than five it will wait for how much time a again the loop has continued because it's not meeting the condition right? greater than five it is still less so now it has written two okay now again it has come it has written three after three it has given the error why after three it has given the error why it did not go so the output is one two three and then it's throwing an error so if you keep this try catch block uh, retry scope under a try catch block then the catch section can execute whatever is written there so here the output is one two three and it will throw an error after that so why this has happened tell me do you know why this has happened why it has thrown an error reason being a retry scope will run three times by default if you are not mentioning the number of retries if you are mentioning it it will just do ex exactly if you are mentioning 10 it will do 10 times if you are mentioning one it will do one time if you mention three it will do three times but if you do not mention it will do three times remember this so that's why here our output has come one two three right so now if the question in the in the question if the counter value is uh, from zero if if i'm starting from one then what would happen the first output will be two three four so you should think okay what is the default value how it should count you should think nobody can help you apart from your thought process and your understanding okay so this much you have understood okay because we have not given a con uh, in the retry scope we have not given a condition so it ran for three times and after that it thrown an error so the output has come as one two three okay okay let's move on to the next um, question okay look at it retry scope and here what i have given number of retries i have given five so it is going to run five times okay and the retry interval i have given one second that means after one second it will go to the again repeat okay the loop will continue so what would happen here because i have given five times first it will write one okay um, then come here one is uh, greater than five no the condition is not met then it will go it'll write two it will go write three it will go write four write five right so like that five times the loop will come so what would be the output one two three four five or what would be the output greater than or equals to five okay so see how many times the loop is running first of all so this is where you have to play your um, you know your brain should be very calm while answering and you should think okay so one two okay three times the loop has completed then four okay then it is going to write five so five it will meet the condition so it is going to exit okay now what if uh, instead of uh, five if i say uh, equals to five if i say greater than five okay if I, it is greater than five so what would be the output okay so last output you have seen right it has written one two three four five right okay so debug has started okay so what would happen it is writing one so all these practices you have to do okay one then it is writing two then it is writing three then it is writing four so how many time loop is complete four times right then it is going to write five and the and it got ended why it has ended because i have given the loop as five so if if i give the retry scope uh, number of retries to let's say uh, six what would happen in this case is it going to write one two three four five six or no okay so like this you should experiment and also put this retry scope inside a try catch block okay when the uh, last time you saw right it is it thrown an error because the retry number of retries have not mentioned so in that case the uh, try uh, this one will occur if continue error is checked then it is not it is not going to throw an error so a lot of things okay so this time the output has become six okay because the condition will only meet when it is greater than that so the output has become one two three four five six so you understood you got a hint of it right
you got to know you know retroscope is very important you might get in the practice test also you have seen retroscope has been uh, used in various different questions so you must practice retroscope in depth here your documentation won't play a major role your understanding of how in a different situation how it will work try to put different different activities and try to see okay that kind of learning is required okay so if i think of anything else i would try to come on that uh, come come with an example so thank you guys for watching we'll meet in our next content